Hello again. As it is Valentine's Day, we're going to just do a really simple love spell. And we're not just going to call anyone to us. We need to find a partner who will possess qualities that are compatible to you. Okay, so all you're going to need for this is a small little cotton pouch, some rose absolute, but that's not essential. Okay, I've got some chunks of rose quartz here. And some roses. Okay, so, and a candle, okay, so that's just <clears throat> a pouch, some roses, a candle, and some oil, and maybe a pen and paper to write down what it is you wish. You might want to do a bit of pre-thinking on this, you know the qualities that you wish that person to have. And the idea is that we pluck a petal off each rose for the qualities, okay? So first of all, we are going to dress the altar. And somebody asked why we do this. And we do this out of respect, basically. So, just going to put this altar cloth on to put the candle there so that you can see it. So let me just move it all a little bit. So this is my altar space. This is my reading board. You've all seen it loads of times before. And we're going to put this beautiful rose cloth on. And then I'm going to put something extra for added potency, and it is the Vesica Pisces. I'm going to do it that way so that it reflects a yoni, so women's parts. Okay, where creation happens, and also a doorway. So in some, especially at Beltane, we have a masculine and a feminine, and then they cross over in the middle. So this can be for anyone of any sex. And it's like, well, what if I don't have a sex? What if I'm, um, you know, gender neutral? Well, what are you feeling today? Are you feeling more masculine? Are you feeling more feminine? Are you feeling in between? And that could be more active, more passive, neutral. Okay, so that's how you can work with a vesica Pisces. Okay, and we're going to get a crystal wand for this today, and I'm going to put up our circle. To the guardians of the north, we ask for your protection. To the guardians of the east, we ask for your protection. To the guardians of the south, we ask for your protection. And to the guardians of the west, we ask for your protection. Join up the circle. Grandfather Sky, we ask for your protection. And Grandmother Earth, we ask for your protection. So we have a sphere around this healing board, okay? And I'm going to ask that this work for people who come in the future whenever they watch this. So I'm actually going to draw the distant healing symbol. Hansha, Zay, Shorten from Reiki.
So the intention for this spell is to find the perfect partner who will possess the qualities that I wish and that I need for my well-being, for highest good and harm to none. I'm going to light that candle. And candles amplify intention. And what I'm going to do is another trick. I'm going, to, ooh, I'm going to put quartz around this candle. Some of my largest pieces by power of three. So we'll also use a smoky quartz. And then it's going to amplify our spell today. That's glowing nicely, isn't it? And then we're going to take our roses and we're going to lay it on the Vesica Pisces to amplify that magic symbol in. And I'm going to now place a circle of rose quartz around and if you want you can also use let's just move some of these down a bit you can also put clear quartz in between them like so so that the energy is running strongly around the circle don't worry if you haven't got chunks as big as this and if you only have one piece of quartz that's fine you can just use that one piece and draw the line around okay because I do a lot of work each day with people, I have got ample pieces. Some of these are Lemurian and these blue ones here are Tara, blue Tara quartz. Okay. And now with our solar plexus, we are going to pull a petal off and put them in here so that we can put this in our breast pocket or carry it around with us, okay? So we ask for someone who is considerate. We ask for someone who is loving. And we ask for someone who is caring. We ask for someone who is level-headed. We ask for someone who is romantic. And we ask for someone who is stable. I'm going to leave it there, but you can go on and on. I, that's why I suggest you write down the qualities first. Okay. And now as we do this, I want you to summon up the energy in your solar plexus and your heart. 
really feel that want and that need and that desire to find someone who is right for you. Draw the string and tie it well. Goddess, goddess, hear my spell. And then I want you just to hold it in your hand. Hold it in between your heart and your solar plexus. And wish. And you don't have to see the face. But I want you just to see yourself in a home environment. Perhaps sitting comfortably on a sofa, watching TV together. Maybe with, if you want children, a couple of kids round. And, and see those two people in whatever environment. If you want to go trekking together, if you want to go out together, laughing together, talking together. And really feel that love. Putting it out there to the universe. We're doing this at Valentine's. But you can do this on full moon or near to full moon as you can. If you want to eat apples. Apples are very loving as well. But what we're going to do now is we're going to take some rose oil. I'm just going to open it up. And when you've fed your energy into, I'm going to put it into both sides, so all of these petals. And rose is a fragrance that can unlock your heart's desire. Just imagine breathing that in now. For the singletons amongst us, you know, this can be really effective or this can strengthen a relationship. Just change the terminology, but be specific. The universe is very specific. Don't just ask for love. You want love and stability and kindness. Okay? Love can be very erotic and tempestuous. You could also put a crystal in there if you wanted a little piece of rose quartz or normal quartz to amplify it. And if you have rose bushes growing in your garden, perhaps in May when they start, you can do this then as well. Or through the summer. But if you haven't got roses blooming, it is the perfect opportunity to buy yourself some flowers. I'm always buying myself flowers because my partner never does it. <laughs> so I do it myself. So keep this charm under your pillow or in your wallet or in a pocket. Smell it every now and then. Oh, that is just divine. You could also buy the pink rosebuds that they make in tea in Turkey. You can get that off Amazon. You could use those, but I would say fresh flowers. And if they're on the bush, even better, because they'll still have that life force in them. These have, but I suspect they've been frozen and probably refrigerated and brought in from Kenya. But that's okay. That is okay. 
holding that and manifesting that. But be careful what you ask for. Like I said, you know, you want some kind of stable, even boring aspects in there for the steadiness. You don't want someone who is so over-emotional that they're always arguing with you and everything's a drama. That is why calmness, clear thinking, consideration, those are key qualities, aren't they? So I'm going to leave that with you now. Your little rose. Very quick spell. You don't even need ten tons of things. Just a little bag, a candle, a couple of roses, and you're done. Okay, really easy. And I'm actually going to leave this up. I'm going to leave this up, but I am going to show you how to unwind the circle. Okay. So we start where we finished. Grandmother Earth, we thank you for your protection and we bid you farewell. Grandfather Sky, we thank you for your protection and we bid you farewell. The Guardians of the West, we thank you for your protection and we bid you farewell. The Guardians of the South, we thank you for your protection and we bid you farewell. To the guardians of the east, we thank you for your protection and we bid you farewell. And to the guardians of the north, we thank you for your protection and we bid you farewell. Again, let's draw that distant healing symbol travel across and along timelines for whenever you watch this, whether it be now as I release it or in the future. And you can do this as many times as you like. You can reaffirm the spell each month if you wish, you know, a couple of days before full moon. But don't just sit at home and expect someone to come knocking on your door. You still need to act do that searching in whatever way so I leave you now and I wish you luck and love and happiness bye bye